Hello my beautiful melons and welcome back to another episode of the Roguelands in the Iron Man mode today. I got a little something special for you. You'll be like, Kawhi, what could be more special than you playing Roguelands? Well, don't stop the video and look at my inventory right there. But, if you want to know, it is a brand new ultimate weapon. And we're going for Nirvana. We're going to upgrade that right here, right now. Go bam. And be like, A for prison. Aha. So, the people who guessed what it was on my stream, you are correct. It's the Maelstrom. I'm, I'm going for the... The sweet as beautiful Maelstrom. Alright. Shall we shoot it? Shall we shoot it? Oh, it's a wall of beautiful light. It looks beautiful. And wonderful and magical at the same time. I'm done. I actually need to go back. I need to go and put projectile range on this thing. Oh, how many portals am I wasting? Quite a lot. Quite a lot of portals. God damn it, Jeremy. God damn, actually, I have projectile range on this thing. You know, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put some stuff on my rings, actually, now. I should probably put some stuff on my rings. So, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna just quickly chuck another projectile range on the ring. So, we have now two. And then we can put uh, bonus faith. And bonus magic. Oh, that's bonus vitality. Eh, it still scales the same. <laughs> In all honesty, it doesn't really matter. Alright, bonus magic. Um, bonus faith. Alright, I can't put any more on. Any more on? Any more on. Well, I can. I can just go to this one and be like, uh, you can have bonus magic. And you can have bonus faith. Alright, there we go. Now we're all getting nicely kitted out here. Beautiful. Now let's go and take the Maelstrom for a, for a ride. A wild ride. One that goes further than the east. And lighter than the east Yubikirian continents of Iran. I don't know, man. I'm just saying stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, I got some money, so let's just boost this up. We're going to max, and we're going to go to... Uh, oh, where's a place? Eeny, meeny, money mo, catch a tickle. I'll hold the cabins. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait. Firstly, I need to go and put this bad boy up. Making sure he stays in the family. There you go, fam. There you go. Alright, we've done our quest line, haven't we? We have. Alright, so... What is next on our agenda? I'm not sure, actually. We're gonna just spread these out. What? Why are we holding those? Uh, that was a bit weird. I wasn't expecting to be holding that. Alright, and then we're just going to spread our scrap metal out a bit. And then, uh... Um, I guess we'll just do that or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to make it so that we don't get our inventory just, like, taken up completely. Uh, we do... We do okay damage. I mean, it costs us a lot of mana to cast said, but... Now that we got projectile range on it, it actually lasts a while. So it's just, like, a giant wall that destroys everything. Bah, 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 bah. That's kind of cool. I like that. That is really cool. Alright, um, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> oh, there's our good buddy, Mr. Uh, Rock Scarab Dude. I need to know if I can cast this continuously, even after... Oh, yeah. It just takes mana. Alright, cool. So, no bubble for me, ever, it would seem. Or oh, unless I get Enhanced Mine. I might actually consider getting Enhanced Mine. Because that might help me out a lot with this. Because uh, it would just help me with my mana regen. You just pop it straight away. And we don't lose much damage. Uh, we probably probably do more damage with our actual other weapon, to be honest, than this, this Wall of Doom. But this Wall of Doom is pretty cool. And uh, figured, you know, what's, what's cooler than being a Wall of Doom? Uh, being ice cold. Hey, ya. Hey, ya. Ha, <laughs> ha. Hey now, ladies. Yeah, what's very cool, man? Cool, ice cold. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Cause I sung that song. We're doing all right. We're gonna get like a whole bunch of good materials. We're we're almost 200. We're we're getting there. We're gonna have to go and do some serious level grinding. Grinding the levels, dude. We take a lot of damage though. So, hmm, the payout over this is that we can't ever use uh, our 
chips, so we have to practice our dodging and try not to get hit. But we get this big wall of pain. Alright. What's next? I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you now what's next. This is the uh, big wall of pain. Maybe we'll go... Uh, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, what would be so useful about this big wall of pain? Other than not being able to cast spells. I think we actually do a lot more damage with... I have with full health. So I'm just gonna pop a few, po a few potions few, few potions, and swap back to the white mage. We'll do more damage with this eventually when we get levels into it, I think. But uh, let's, let's see. Oh, I need to hit something first. And of course I get this thing straight away. I just want to talk to the kitty cat. My name's... I'm a kitty cat. I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Meow. I'm a kitty cat. Alright, dude. You can uh, meow, 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 and dance, dance, dance all you like. But if you're going to give me an April globe, I'm probably going to continue to annoy you. Yeah. Sad face. Alright, let's, let's grab this. Nothing too interesting. Let's see if we can spawn another dude. Alright, we've got our white mage up. Oh god, I wasn't expecting him. Actually, we do around the same damage. Except this one, we have to be at 100 health. Or zero mana. 100 health, zero mana. 100 health, zero mana. Hmm, I don't know, dude. This is a pretty big predicament. What do I want to do? Big wall of maelstrom? Or be at 100 health. Or have to be at 100 health to actually be viable. Or heal every shot. Because like, I can't, you know, discount the cherry blue. So he's there too, you know. He, he can't leave him behind. He's important to the family as well. Like, But we do hit multiple. Yeah, so if we... We might have a boss killer. Like, this might be a really good boss killing weapon. Oh, God. Pop a bubble, waste some of our precious mana, <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can kill him. All right, we've experienced it. All right, we've 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 tried it out a little bit. Let's, you know what? I haven't been to this area yet. Yeah, you guys have been like, dude, you've been avoiding the one and most important area all along, Shroomland. All right, Shroomland's pretty important. You know what I just realized? I might be getting a hell of a lot of back noise, so I'll be gonna just shut this window right here. It's summertime, you know? I feel like I'm in a Japanese anime. The cicadas everywhere. Jesus. They're just making a lot of noise. So hopefully that doesn't get picked up too much by my mic. But, uh, I can't guarantee anything. Hopefully the background... What the fuck? He spawns straight away? Since when? Oh, this is challenge level 3. I actually guess I've never done challenge level 3 Shroom Town. I guess I've never needed to either. That's another thing. Look, we do like multiple hits on bosses. So this is definitely a really good boss killing star. And like, we still got a lot of damage to build up. That was a bit scary. We still got a lot of damage to be built. Uh, to be honest, like, still gotta get levels into our actual weapon. We're like, what, level 4 now? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's coming around. Oh god. Alright, I'm kind of frightened for my life right here. Shroom townages, making things a little bit weirder. Alright, let's just, uh, seems nice. Oh yeah, now they're gonna actually spawn one, so this one might be a really good n zero mana kind of thing. Like, if you wanted to have mana, don't, don't play this guy. Am I picking them up? I thought I was picking them up and I was like, I don't want these things. Even though I'm farming them, I don't want them. Or maybe get mods for me or something. That's what I'm looking for. Is if I get a mod or something, that would be nice, right? But uh, hey, at least we get to say it zero mana every time we cast this thing. So I guess this is really going to be based on how well I dodge. Dude, we just destroy that thing. Alright, so that makes the, this area a hell of a lot easier. This might actually be very beneficial in like... Uh, where's the place where they experience a lot of knockback? Hollow caverns? No, not hollow caverns. Uh, Bifrost. Bifrost is another place where they experience a lot of knockback. So this, this would be useful there, I think. Very useful. All right, we'll just take out these these floaties, floaty mushrooms. Get ourselves some free loot. We'll just keep. We'll just skip that part. Like, don't need to worry about that. All right, and we'll just skip ahead. Keep going. Make sure we uh, grab the health that we know. Uh, grab this guy. He. Uh, 
gave us a, a nice mega crystal prism shard thing. I don't know, dude. Sometimes I just forget. Oh, we actually spawned one. We probably spawned like two. Now I think about it. It like gave us enough time. Now it's just like, nah, dude, I'm sorry, but you've actually spawned 14 of them. Because Sean's mean that way. Ah, oh, Sean. Don't tell me there's like two of them here. Nah, no, it looks only like, looks like one. We've already versed one though. Like you start off and there's one right at the start. It, 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 it seems. I can't cast any spells though. So chips become absolutely useless in this area. Like 100%. Dang it. Dang it, Angus. All right, let's go down. Ooh, we got it. Yeah. Sorry, I was just checking. I took my headphone off. You guys could have seen it. I was checking to see if the cicadas or whatever was making the noise previously was still making the noise. All right, let's go and have a little a Roomba fun. Actually, now I think about it, we probably don't want to have any Roomba fun. We're going to go and have... A demon's rift we're gonna go and chill out in demon's rift for a second or two see if we can have a little funzy fun time in there all right let's see how much money we can waste all of it nice good just what i like to see but we get the you know we've still got 10 wealth trophies so you know don't 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 get this hard Whoop. nearly didn't select it nearly went to the first area and wasted a ton of our money so we don't really have much setup, so we'll just do this, and uh, alright, he doesn't take multiple hits. Whew, that kind of sucks. Alright, well, seeing as we're the only focus here, we can uh, easily take him out. We just gotta dodge him out, just drop down where it's necessary, but we can take out these his little friends quite easily. Dude, we actually do a fair amount of damage. Dude, we might actually have this pretty, pretty well in the bag. You know, we might be doing pretty well. You know what you'd be saying, Kamali Lemons, you, you don't look like you're doing very well. I have, like, a weapon that does, like, 300 damage flat. No, I mean, 300 damage is not that much. I, I do, like, 500, 600 damage easy, bruh. What are you talking about? Well, I'm using a stuff, bro. You know how hard it is? Look, I'm doing more than... Oh, god, ow. All right, if we take another hit, we have to make sure we uh, heal up. This is proving to be quite annoying. I feel like jumping back, popping a couple of elixirs, jumping back here, popping our our bubble, make sure we have sustain. There we go. I'm going to pick this up. Do we need to find a place that gives us a good amount of experience so we can level up our characters a bit better? I have an idea. I'm going to go and try it out. It's going to cost me quite a lot. I want to see how much experience because we got this weapon now this one seems pretty strong realistically I'm thinking all right i'm gonna just go quickly try this out it might be a little boring so but we will see get out of here you worm thing might be a bit difficult mm, we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we just want to chuck this straight into weapon all right Boop. sweet dingus i'll we'll just skip over that and we'll go back to our ship I know I'm wasting a lot of money, but this is what you gotta do on the stream. See, see what, see what we can see in here. Yeah, I gotta take them out on other accounts, but we've nearly got four full stacks of that stuff. That's pretty sweet. Oop, over jumped a little bit. All right, and then we'll uh, talk to this guy and turn a whole stack into things. All right, so we're gonna jump in. Challenge level insufficient funds. No. That moment when you have insufficient funds. Dang it, Angus. Alright, we'll just. Now we should have enough, right? Realistically. Hopefully. There we go. We'll do. Put it on that one. Okay, and then uh, put it on that one. Alright, so this is a strategy, and I've tried it a couple of times, but I'm not 100% sure if it really works all that great. It's something I'm still. Still undetermined about, but it seems like a solid place to do things. But it seems like a solid place to at least grind, I think. At least, I think. I mean, you still get, like, some resources. Like, apparently you, get, you can get XP and stuff like that. But 
I don't know, this is a, a work in progress testing sort of deal, so you guys can join me in my testing, even though it might not actually be all that great. So we'll just sit in our wall of doom. I forgot that there is a boss in this area. Uh, we get a lot of mods, uh, which is always great. I like mods, you like mods, everyone likes mods. We can use mods to great efficiency, actually. Alright, well, these guys are going to be annoying. I'm going to take a hit right there. Oh, well, we're just going to try to destroy that guy as fast as possible. Alright, he's dead. That's solid. Alright, so let's, let's take a step back. Recoup. Regenerate. And then start the farming again because this it seems like a solid way of doing things i think i know mean, if we take too much damage we should be fine like, we, we should be a-okay because look at that we just destroy them with a pincer maneuver like did you see that pincer maneuver oh it was beautiful and then we can just yeah just keep sweeping them away or take a solid chunk of damage because you don't but uh if you just sit in your own own storm and just Wash it back and forth, dude. Oh my god, they're never gonna touch me. <laughs> we got this like sweeping kind of maneuver, and you just sit here like this and just touch these vines a thousand million times. Dude, this might be the single most effective way to farm. Alright, let's jump up a little bit, see if there's actual other things we can aggro. There we go. Oh, you see that? Have we gone up any levels? Not really. I mean... Well, in all honesty, you're not really seeing how much XP I'm getting. If you're spawning a thousand of them, like a bunch of them, yeah, sure, you're getting a lot of XP that way, but... Hmm... I don't know, this might be something I have to really solidify in my own time. But right now, it's not, not coming up with any real uh, inclusive results. I don't feel like it's any faster than doing cathedral or anything like that so i don't know results undecided results undecided completely it seems like a good idea realistically but yeah it's just a little on the undecided right now still not 100 percent sure if it's going to work oh, we'll just anyway we'll just we'll just farm up everything else for now you know, these enemies, they, they give a little XP. And we'll just keep going forward, I guess. You can get... I don't think you actually get portraits of those things. So that's kind of sad. I would like a portrait of these little things so I know what they're actually called, at least. You know? That seems pretty important, knowing your enemy. Keep your friends closer and your enemies closer sort of deal. You know, you, you gotta know them close. If you want to keep them close, you gotta know their name at least. But, like, if you don't know their name, then how are you supposed to keep them close, you know, bro? How are you supposed to look them up in the phone book, find their address, you know? Like, how are you supposed to do that? You can't if you don't know their name. You're absolutely royally boned if you can't call them up in the phone book and be like, Hey, dude, you're my enemy. I'm coming to get you, sort of deal. I, I wouldn't do that. I highly rec don't recommend it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's against the moral justice of the whole idea of things. But, yeah, you know... Well, we, uh, I guess we got to try that a little bit. I don't know if my experience bar says that, but, uh, I have no idea. I went up a level. I feel like it's not actually that full, to be honest. I feel like it should be less full, but who knows. Anyway, I want to say if you liked this episode, please leave a like, comment in the comment section below, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm Kawhi Lemons, and I'll see you guys next time.